The historic run on home prices is set to wind down in 2022. Hi, it's Diana Renee with Keller Williams Real Estate, and I am here with your real estate market update. Instead of creating a housing bus, the pandemic helped spur one of the most competitive and tight housing markets in recorded U.S. history. Between August 2020 and August 2021, home prices soared a record 19.9%, dwarfing the previous biggest 12-month price jump, 14.1%, which came in the period leading up to the 08 meltdown. But that level of price growth is expected to come down. This fall, the housing market finally started to slow a bit as more inventory hit the market and fewer buyers engaged in bidding wars. While the industry benchmark S&P CoreLogic Case-Shiller Home Price Indexes have yet to publish readings for September and October, industry analysts are reporting price growth deceleration. The housing market is still moving upward, albeit at a slower pace. That slowing or normalization is expected to continue into next year. Um, every 2022 forecast model that I've reviewed anticipates that price growth will slow down next year. However, the projected price growth range among these forecasts is all over the place. According to the latest forecast put out by Fannie Mae, median home prices are expected to rise 7.9% between the fourth quarter of 2021 and the fourth quarter of 2022. While that would mark a slowing from the extreme price growth we've seen this year, it would still represent strong growth by historical standards. On average, U.S. home prices have climbed 4.1% on an annual basis since 1987. So put another way, the housing market, at least in the eyes of Fannie Mae, is set to return to a normalish level of price appreciation. Fannie Mae also expects mortgage rates to climb next year with the average 30-year fixed rate rising from 3.1% to 3.4%. But the downward pressure on prices from rising rates, uh, the government-sponsored enterprise says, won't be enough to actually pull prices down. As far as 2022 outlooks go, Fannie Mae's forecast is a Goldilocks, right in the middle. On the bullish end of the spectrum are Zillow and Goldman Sachs. In the coming 12 months, Zillow foresees U.S. home prices jumping 13.6%, while Goldman Sachs expects home prices to swing up a staggering 16% by the end of 2022. But not everyone sees the frenzy continuing. CoreLogic, a real estate data firm, is far more bearish, forecasting just 2.2% home price growth over the coming 12 months. So why so bearish? Well, there's a lot going on. For starters, stubbornly high inflation has increased the odds that the Fed will raise interest rates and thus mortgage rates sooner rather than later. The average 30-year fixed mortgage rate um, could rise near or above 4% next year. Of course, higher mortgage rates put direct downward pressure on prices. Then there's the combination of the return of seasonality after being absent during the abnormal 2020 cycle and the end of COVID-19 mortgage forbearance predictions, which have helped to send inventory rising again. All of these forecasts should, of course, be taken with a grain of salt. After all, at the onset of the pandemic, when some states had banned in-person real estate viewings, CoreLogic forecast price would fall 1.3% between April 2020 and April 2021. For that same 12-month period, Zillow predicted home prices would fall between 2% to 3%. While announcing this week that it was shutting down its unprofitable home flipping business, Zillow CEO Rich Barton admitted that his firm isn't very good at forecasting prices, something that us realtors have always known. Not only did the housing market not slide backward, it went on to one of the biggest runs in U.S. history. As of November 4th, the market action index is at 79. This is up from 78 last month. This number indicates the strength of the market as far as whether it's a buyer's market or a seller's market. Anything below 30 represent a buyer, represents a buyer's market. So although the market is cooling somewhat, we are still in a very strong seller's market. 
The median list price in Corona is at 765,000. Average days on market are at 44 and inventory is at 173. The active listing inventory soared by 150 homes in the past couple weeks, up 4%, and now sits at 3,539 homes, its highest level of the year. Um, it appeared as if Riverside County reached a peak a month ago, but it has continued to grow since. Demand, um, a snapshot of the number of new pending sales over the prior month, decreased from 3,515 to 3 excuse me, 3,387 in the past couple of weeks, uh, shedding 128 pending sales down 4%, uh, the largest drop since July. So if you are interested in numbers and details, check out the links below in the description for info on your real estate market. Uh, have a wonderful November, everyone. And by the way, if you or anyone you know are looking to buy, sell, or invest in real estate, give us a call. We're happy to help. Our contact information is in the description below. Take care.